What's up guys, it's Togimoto here, finally back again with a ride and review. This time it's a 2023 CF Moto 450 SS. I'm sorry if it's been a little while since I posted, but my girlfriend and I were rear-ended on my motorcycle when we were coming home from a concert. I won't talk too much about it, but we were doing 70 mile per hour and we were rear-ended by a Corvette. The MT-09 got totaled and is no longer with us. Alright, maybe I'll make another video and give you guys some full details on the crash. Let's get back to this 450SS. The 450SS has an MSRP of $5,499 plus freight set up and a $250 ocean freight surcharge. Also comes with a two year manufacturer's warranty. The motor is an all new parallel twin that puts out 50 horsepower and 28.8 foot-pounds of torque. It has a six-speed transmission with slipper clutch. The bike only weighs 370 pounds. It includes ABS brakes. The front is only a single rotor, 320 millimeters, and it is stopped by a Brembo four-piston front caliber. It has an upgraded five-inch TFT display which, like I said, it is an upgrade from last year's 2022 models. A lot more bright, and you can see it in the sunshine. The bike comes in two colors, Zircon Black and Nebula Black. I'm sure you've seen some other reviews since I'm late to the party on this one. This new TFT display has a lot more information on it. You have your standard speedometer, tachometer, you got your fuel gauge, and you also have your oil temp on the left-hand side. Let's scroll through the tabs. We have navigation here, which you will need the CF Moto Ride app. There's a music feature, a settings feature, and also vehicle information. Under the information, you can see there's warning or service lights. Let's get onto the miles info tab. All right, shows our total mileage, total riding time, your average speed, average fuel consumption. Wow, right now we're at 55.6 miles per gallon. I still have the protective cover over this one, so you might be getting a tiny bit of glare, but you can really see the details, how bright this thing is. I mean, it is definitely an upgrade from last year's, and last year's was a really good color display. Check out the see-through reservoir, which has CF Moto's name on it, not J. Juan, like came on last year's models. Like I said, this bike is a single disc in the front and a single disc in the rear. It's really a, really a sharp looking bike. I mean, this thing really stands out. Plus, I guess the wind tunnel tested this bike and those little carbon fiber wings actually provide some extra downforce on the bike. I will say, even the grips felt a little bit softer than last year. Let's look at the left hand of our switch. Definitely a little bit different than the previous models. Looks very clean. Another see-through master cylinder reservoir. This time it's on the outside of the bike. Some of the other models you actually have to take the seat off to get to that master cylinder reservoir. I can only imagine how good this thing would look with a fender eliminator. I don't believe the rear passenger seat will offer much cushion. They do have a rear cowl out that's an accessory. Mirrors are on the larger side, but I guess they look very fitting to the uh, very sharp style of the bike. They are very easy to see objects in though, which is good. Alright, enough talking. Let's hear it run. I actually do like this new start and kill switch all in one. Very easy to press.
This is the best sounding CF moto out there. No Harleys today, boy. Look at the curves on this girl. All right, let's be honest. The kickstand is probably one of my pet peeves on this bike. You have to reach between the foot peg and the shifter to actually get the kickstand to move. And I feel like someone's gonna end up bumping the shifter uh, on accident. Probably go take them off. I prefer it best when the kickstand has a little tab that's behind the footrest. That way when you come in, you can just take your foot off and use the kickstand all in one. This makes it a little more difficult to do that. All right, first impression, thing feels very comfortable and the entire bike just feels very well made. One thing CF Moto does have going for them is the buttery smooth clutch pull. It is insanely easy to pull that clutch lever in. Definitely surprised by the amount of torque this thing has, especially being less than 600 cc's. I'm sorry if the audio sounds a little bit weird while on the bike. I've tried three different settings. I rode it three days in a row, and this is the best I can come up with. You can really see easily out of these mirrors. The new switches feel good and look good. Straight onto the highway. Let's see how windy she is. One thing you really notice on the highway is all of the crosswind when you're on a bike. It kind of blows you all around from each side of the lane. So, I mean, it's definitely important for a bike to remain stable while at speed and also around tractor trailers. Especially for you guys that are gonna commute daily on the highway. Usually you can feel the bumps between each section of concrete on most of these highways. So we'll see how the suspension handles those. Feels pretty smooth and no problem going highway speeds with this bike. I don't recommend doing triple digits on the highway, but the bike is capable. I got a big tractor trailer coming behind me. I can see it in my mirror. We're already doing over 80. This guy's coming pretty fast. All right, let's let this guy pass. These trucks are sketchy. All right, now you can see the mirror start to shake a little bit. We're getting that wind from the truck. No matter what bike you ride, you're gonna experience that behind the truck. Just imagine if you had the trailer on it. Suspension feels very smooth. It's not blowing me around too much. I usually just try to power through that. Normally, I just try to pass the tractor trailer, but we'll let it go. Like I said, maybe it was bad microphone placement, but I tried three different settings, and you can hear some weird noises when you're doing highway speeds. In person, you don't notice that. The bike sounds really good. So the motor has beginner power, but it has enough power that an experienced rider is not gonna get bored. It's just a fun bike to ride. Super light and smooth. Very nimble, feel like you can make cuts in and out really quickly, especially dodging some cars you pull out in front of you. We know that happens a lot. All right, let's show a little quick dig. Not too shabby. The thing sounds really good when you're pulling out of a stop sign. It kind of reminds me of an MT-07 sound. You never know about rocks on these roads in Pennsylvania. One time as I was coming down this hill right in this spot, a sport bike was coming up the hill and slid across the pavement there and hit that guardrail on the left. He blamed the gravel, but I blame bald tires. Whoops, didn't mean to hit that horn. Don't sound too bad though. The 
This turn is like a 180. Let's lean her over. So much fun and so smooth. The hills around here are incredibly steep. The GoPro does not do them any justice. This road's really bumpy in a vehicle. The bike's handling it pretty well. The seat actually feels really soft as well. That all goes hand in hand in being comfortable on the bike. All right, let's get some air, bunny hop. Oh crap, police in the stop sign. Good thing these brakes work good. All right, just try to act normal. Just out here going to work, guys. Man, I just can't say enough how comfortable this bike is. A couple of the other guys at the shop rode it, and this one's also their favorite. I think it has the best look out of all of their bikes. Fit and finish is top notch also. This has to be one of the top beginner bikes on the market. Now, if you're comparing this to the 300 SS, there's what, maybe a thousand dollars price difference? I'm going to recommend the 450 SS every time, unless you've never ridden a bike in your life. Then the 300 SS may be worth it, since it's just bare bones, and it's a good looking bike. That's up to you guys though. I'm just here giving my honest opinion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This bike's pretty rad. Thanks to Tri-State Power Sports for letting me demo this bike. If you need a CF Moto, give them a call. 724-215-9085. Leave a comment if you guys have any questions. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more videos.